Jane Sherry, General Manager at English Language Academy, and we're just going to go through a couple of points to highlight what the school is all about. So, Ian, can we start with you telling us a little bit about the unique selling points of the school? Okay, um, uh, English Language Academy is a school that's been established since 1988. Um, it's considered to be a medium-sized school. Um, our main selling points are uh, the fact that we've managed to maintain small classrooms throughout all these years. When I say small classrooms, um, we're talking of a maximum of 10 okay. in summer um, for adults, and uh, that goes down to 8 over the shoulder months. Okay. Um, not only that, um, uh, our, uh, our uh, special courses, when we talk of special courses, we're talking of um, uh, examination courses, we're talking of business courses, we keep those up to a maximum of six, and that okay. really goes down well uh -huh. with, uh, with our students, and they love the fact that they have this personal attention with, mm -hmm. uh, with the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another major factor, um, another major selling point for us is the fact that uh, we have approximately um, uh, 70 nationalities okay. at the school. Over the past five years we've had 70 nationalities also. Okay. Um, uh, our school, uh, uh, our classes are very, very um, balanced when it comes to different nationalities. Of course. Of um, uh, so you wouldn't come to ELA, enter a class and find uh, more than three of the same nationality usually. Okay. So okay. Um, uh, you get Germans, Italians, Japanese, Korean, I mean okay. uh, quite a mix. Different colors. Um, that's it. Um, uh, one, one, other, one other thing that goes down well with our teachers is the fact that our teachers, um, uh, first of all, we have very little turnover of teachers and okay. that shows that teachers are happy, happy. Yes. Um, at the school and that is conducive to, uh, to a good environment exactly. at the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, teachers um, are native speakers, so okay. uh, they speak English as a first language. So uh, that is that always goes on well with with our students. Um, uh, one other thing that shows that we're doing uh, that we're doing something right is the fact that um, uh, our student return rate is. Mm -hmm if I'm not mistaken, 17%. Okay. So um, uh, that speaks volumes about, yes. about our courses, the fact that you have 17% of students um, being repeat students mm -hmm. yes. um, is, is quite, quite an achievement. Um, we have also been nicknamed the school with a heart yes. by our agents. Um, uh, perhaps you've heard of this. Um, uh, and there was one particular agent um, who suggested that we start using the school uh, with a heart as, as one of our logos, um, mostly because we really go out of our way to ensure that students are happy with their courses and we follow them right through from the point go right to the finish, um, uh, the finishing of their course. Um, Basically, uh, I think those are the main the main, the main points. points. Um, I also forgot, perhaps, I, I need to add that ELA has been now for quite a number of years the only TOEFL center okay. on the island. We are the only school that offered the TOEFL IBT examination on the okay. island, and in fact, that um, uh, is quite a selling point for us. We get quite a number of bookings for our courses, our teachers are regularly trained in teaching um, TOEFL IBT, okay. so you can't find any other teachers more uh, better equipped than our teachers to deliver. Um, to deliver lessons on the subject. Okay. okay, Okay. very good, thank you. Now you've told me the school was established in 1988, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how has it developed over time? How have you seen it develop over the years? Okay. Um, uh, I've uh, been with the school since 1992 as a teacher, and um, so uh, I've been uh, I've been at the school so for quite quite a while, and I've gone through all the various stages. Mm -hmm. And when the school was established way back in 1988, it was established um, to cater for mainly German clients, and okay. most of the lessons given were one-to-one -one lessons. Uh -huh. Okay, in fact. Um, and the school, uh, the, the original school building was rather smallish, the classes were quite small um, uh, and from there um, we diversified. We diversified first by um, entering the Italian market and from there we moved to the Russian market and those were our three main markets for quite a while. 
Um, uh, since then, we started um, working not only with adults, because that was our main market at first, but we started working with younger people. Okay. Um, our classes um, went up from 6 to 10, and we also bought an adjacent building in Slima and the school grew. Mm -hmm. um, uh, since the uh, early, uh, since the start of the new millennium, so to speak, we started feeling the need of uh, a bigger building okay. Okay. and the building wasn't enough and in fact um, uh, since the turn of uh, the millennium we we started using a team annex over summer okay. and yeah. um, first we started with this the local cinema primary school and we used to take um, if I'm not mistaken 10 classrooms over there um, and then we uh, moved to even larger premises and we started taking 15 to 20 classrooms over there and um, uh, again still in the area with a walking distance from the school. As of last year, um, uh, we finally took uh, quite a brave step and uh, took over uh, a new school. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the new school uh, um, uh, is uh, equipped with the latest technology. We have interactive whiteboards, um, a fully equipped uh, language lab, um, state of the art, uh, other state of the art equipment like uh, books, DVDs, and everything is, is there. Um, uh, classrooms went up from approximately 20 to 30. All classrooms can take um, up to a maximum of 10 students, so we kept the student the base, the number same. the same, mm -hmm. yes, 10 maximum. Um, uh, and uh, we've also diversified the markets, where, whereby before we used to concentrate mainly on European markets mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, perhaps Brazil and Morocco were quite, uh, quite big markets for us. Now um, we diversified into Japanese, Korean markets and Latin America too. Latin America is quite a big market for us nowadays as well. Okay, very good. And one final question, since we've spoken about the development into the new building as well. What shall we expect in 2020 from ELA? Okay, um, uh, our major selling point for 2020 is going to be um, the fact that we are uh, specializing now in uh, long-term packages okay. and uh, we've, we've tinkered with our long-term packages, we made them more attractive mm -hmm. um, uh, to our client base. Um, uh, we, we are already seeing a lot of interest from agents for these okay. long-term packages um, so we're hoping that the take-up this year is going to be even more than last year and we're hoping that they, they increase in popularity. Um, uh, the response we've had from uh, students as well has been very, very encouraging okay. and now we've opened them up to even more um, uh, students' uh, markets. Okay, okay. Um, not only that, uh, we're also looking into uh, um, improving our team summer packages. So we have a summer camp running, and the summer camp this year is going to be even closer and uh, based to the team annex okay. um, uh, to ensure that uh, that our, our teams are well catered for. The, we've, we've spruced up our, our activity package too okay. in, in there. And so expect some surprises in, in terms of uh, in terms of activities. Um, even teachers are being trained specifically now okay. into delivering lessons for teenagers. teenagers. So even okay. the lessons are, are quite exciting. And we've had a look at okay. the program, and, and that should that should really work. Okay. okay. And I also know and this may be the final point that you would like to have agents come over to see the school. So they get the feel. Yes, thanks for it. thanks for reminding me. Um, uh, yes, um, in our uh, in our regular meetings, um, internal meetings, we discuss the possibility of um, uh, having fan trips to mm -hmm. the school. And uh, this year, um, we're organizing um, one or two fan trips for agents. The agents can can get a, f a feel uh, first exactly. hand of what goes on in the school, yes. why we are the school with a heart, exactly. why um, uh, we. Uh, we are very much sought after by, by our students um, uh, and, and why we have a good name out there, basically. Um, uh, this, the, the, the agents, the prospective agents that come on these fan trips will be staying in the students' accommodation itself. Okay. Um, and they have a full program and uh, yeah, we hope. 
Yeah. And then this will attract more uh, more agents to our school. Okay, so it will be a full immersion experience for agents as well. And that's it. You will also be leaving the contact details at the bottom of the video, so get in touch, agents, if you want to visit the school. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.